In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the features and specs of Dyson's V8 and Cyclone V10 cordless vacuums and see how they differ. In the next few weeks, we're going to put the V10 through all kinds of cleaning tests, so be sure to subscribe if you're interested in that. Before I get started, I should mention that both the V8 and V10 come in different subcategory packages. Though the main part of the vacuums are the same, the Absolute is the only subtype with two cleaner heads, the regular motor-driven head and the soft brush. The animal and the motorhead versions do not include the soft brush head. Additionally, the motorhead version usually has a slightly smaller dustbin. Okay, so let's get started with battery life. The V8 would do up to 40 minutes on low power with no attachments, and about 7 minutes on full power with the motor cleaner head. The V10 goes up to 60 minutes on low power, and I'm going to have to wait for my test to determine the high power battery life on the V10, but we can presume it would increase the same 33%, so that would make it about 9.3 minutes. On this point, the V10 has an upgraded battery type, which claims to provide the same battery output regardless of the charge level. In other words, it's supposed to stay strong even when the battery is almost discharged. When it comes to suction, we know that the V8 has 115 air watts of suction. And while I haven't seen an official number from Dyson yet, they do say that the V10 is 20% stronger than the V8. If that translates directly to air watts, then the V10 would have about 144 air watts. The dustbin capacity of the V10 is 40% bigger at 0.2 gallons on the V10 Absolute and Animal, but not on the Motorhead version, which is only 0.14 gallons, the same as the V8 Absolute. Not much has changed in terms of the weight. The V10 is 5.9 pounds to the V8's 5.8 pounds. Nothing has changed in terms of the filtration system, as both claim to trap 99.7% of particles at 3 microns. The real differences between the V8 and V10, though, come down to the new features on the V10. For example, the V10 has a totally redesigned, super small, but super powerful motor called the V10 Digital Motor. This is combined with a new inline suction system, which Dyson claims gives the V10 20% better airflow than the V8. The motor-driven head is different too. While the V8 had a direct drive motor head, the V10 has a redesigned torque drive cleaner head, which Dyson says removes 25% more debris than the V8. Also, a significant upgrade to the hygienic bin emptying system, which is now more inline, so you can actually put the bin further into the trash can before emptying. This compared to the V8, which required you to kind of hover over the trash can to empty the bin. The V8, which originally listed at $699, is down to $499 on Amazon, and the V10 is $699 both on the website and on Amazon. I should have a ton of new videos very soon with in-depth tests on the V10 and comparisons with its competitors, so be sure to subscribe, links in the description to the V8 and V10 on Amazon, and thanks for watching.